What's up guys? Welcome back. Another beautiful day in the state of the cave. Okay. So now I'm playing as Alexa. Because the previous character, Megan, is pretty sleepy, so she needs to rest up. So yeah, now I'm playing as good old Alexa. And the, the plan today is to talk to these guys, see what they need. I wanted to let you know we've had a couple more communities settled down here in Trumbull Valley. They seem like good folks. Thanks, Ray. It's nice to hear that people are coming back to the valley. Take care of yourself, all right? I count on you to keep an eye on Trumbull for me. Yes, ma'am. So yeah, the plan today is to talk to these people, see what they need, go around, scouting new areas, looting more and stuff. I see a bloater over there. Oh yeah, and we also gotta work on these facility slots. So yeah, let's just see what happens today. Did I refill this? Hmm. No, it's not really that far. On my way, on my way to make new friends. The air is making my eyes burn. Must be a plague heart nearby. Yep, yep. I could just get out. These guys would just take out these zombies. It doesn't matter if they scream. Let these guys take care of the zombies. It's a death fest out here. Oh boy. Alright, cool. They dropped the plague sample. Stop. Supply of plague samples has run low. If you can find more, we can have fuel to trade. The safest way to collect samples is by killing plague zombies. The best place to find them is in the territory around a plague heart. Those things basically infect their whole environment. It's fucking nasty. Or you could just destroy the plague heart itself to get a bunch of samples. That's more dangerous. You'd better gear up before you get started on this one. Helping out like this is a good way to make friends. See Let's hope this pays off. We could use allies out here. Mm-hmm. We sure could. Let's see what Let's these see what we have. I'm all guys finished up. Have. That's cool. Well, they're not really gonna have anything. Hello, Trumbo right now. Valley. This is Tressy Huerta, speaking to you from downtown Marshall. Most of you don't know me yet, but if things go well, you will soon. I'm working on a little project that's gonna help this valley thrive again, like it used to. For now, just stay strong and be good to each other. We're all in this together, after all. <laughs> oh yeah. So now I'm gonna go around Searching for these plague zombies, killing them to get plague samples. Once they do that, these guys will become friendly with us. And they'll ask for our help again, and then we help them, and then they'll become allies. As long as that plague heart is nearby, we can't really secure this place. Mm. 
and when they become allies with us they'll give us like an like a benefit something that'll help us so yeah allies in this are very important So yeah, I'm gonna go around killing more plague zombies to get plague samples. This process takes a while. We only need one more. This should be done. Should get Cece to do this because she has a surgery trait, which gives you like a chance of getting plague samples easily. So yeah, after we help these guys, we're gonna call from our allies. Which you can do by pulling up the radio and finding resources or people, and this should pop up. You can also, you're also able to recruit people from those allies that you make. So yeah, we're gonna need more people in our community, but not until way later. Something. Until our morale was like better. Because right now the morale is not very good, so bringing an extra person is not going to help right now. see that many plague zombies around. There's one over here. Hopefully they drop the sample. We will have to see. Come here, bitch. Give me your plague samples. Nothing at all. zombies over here there's one over here two of them in the bloater <laughs> away from this guy make him trip Gotta avoid going over there. There's a fucking feral over there. Don't wanna mess with that feral. There you go. That's two plague samples. These guys can make samples so you can become friendly. With these plague samples, I can make something that'll cure blood plague if one of us gets infected. And they give us gas. We're happy to share the recipe if you need it. Cooking oil. I'm glad you could help. Stay alive, all right? I'm gonna learn more about these guys. Hey, oh, you're welcome here. Almost fully leveled up auto mechanic skills. Interesting. Good to see. You. 
Movie trivia. Man, got a whole family around over here. We have a new development on our hands. This guy's got it. Was I helpful enough, guys? Hey, I hope man. I was. But yeah, this guy's movie trivia. Hey, a friendly face. How's it hanging? Okay. Metal work. Hmm, interesting. You might, you know what? We might actually replace. Who is it? I'm going to place this go. But I don't know, we'll see. Oh yeah, I have. How's the hang it? So when you have allies or friendly enclave enclaves in your place, you're gonna what we want got. to trade yeah. with them a lot because influence is really important. This is the most important currency in this in this game. This is gonna help you a lot. Let's see if I have a better backpack. No, I don't have a better backpack. I guess I can install this onto the infirmary. <laughs> Excuse me. Cover yourself quickly. And over here, when I build the workshop, because it's really important. Important for our. Maintaining our weapons and stuff. Alright, so next I'm just gonna go around scouting. We can start looking for the shit we need. Pillage and plunger. That's actually I think it's an important mission. What is it, Megan? Is she tired? Tired or no, she's not tired. She's damaged and infected. I let her rest up a little more. Is that a screamer? It is, but I'm not gonna bother taking it out because it gives you gives the character standing reward and I wanna try to avoid that. Because the more standing my character gets, the more the more um this this game is gonna make things harder for me. Like, he's gonna send out more freaks and stuff. So I know I said I was gonna avoid it, but it was in the way, so... I'm heading this way. Hopefully there's no pharaohs this time. So this whole map, Trumbull Valley, I think it was a part of, it was in um, State of the K1, but I, I, I never really got to play that game when it came out. State of the K2 was the game that I started with. Hi, this is Lily Ritter, reaching out to all the new additions to our Trumbull family. Before I started the network, I lived in Trumbull. So, as long as I'm around, that valley will always have someone there to watch out for you. 
And that someone is my good friend, Raimundo Santos. If you need help, Ray is the guy to see. He's down there, Lily. I'm no miracle worker. Don't be modest, Ray. I can't imagine a Trumbull Valley without you there keeping watch. So yeah, I don't really know much about Stereo K1, all the characters in it. Let's see what they have here. I guess it's better than nothing. That's something I'll probably trade. Take this guy out so he get some wood with XP. Foods and ammo red sack. hear anything lurking about you sure about that I can hear something out there that's not in here okay, let's see what we got bullets don't really need bullets Any facility mods that increase our morale would be really good right now. I will talk about those whenever we actually get any. I like to get this mod, the st stabilizing foam, which increases our health or is it? free instant health recovery. So it'll help us recover health more. Which I guess is good. But we won't really need it once once we upgrade the infirmary to level 2. Because once you upgrade it to level 2, it will recover our survivor's health more quickly. Which is very helpful. So grab whatever is left in here. Cleaned out. Call for allies. Hey, can anyone hear this? Let me know if you're listening, okay? Hey, how's it going? The outbreak survivors. Oh, is an infest infestation. You gotta take care of that. I had this aunt who lived somewhere around here and fancied herself a survivalist. Firecrackers. I wonder if she made it this long. <sighs> now where am I gonna find firecrackers? How am I gonna get them? Hmm. 
Wait. Wait a minute. Isn't... Wait, what? Didn't I claim an outpost here? Or was that? Oh, wait, what? I'm confused. Didn't I claim an outpost there before? Or... Um, it must have been another game. Alright, so... What do I do? I need firecrackers. How do I get them? Maybe... These guys might have one? Wait, there's two of them? Damn. What can we trade? We don't have much to trade. I mean, of course, we've barely started off, so we're not gonna have much. We do have a lot of influence, so that should be helpful. I take out the nearest plague heart. This should clear up. Yep. And why do these guys have to spawn here? That's annoying. Really need this place. I think this place is an outpost. It's gonna be important to us. You're still on your feet. Computers, that's what important. Up? That's important skill. Literature, See, don't know what that does. And no skills. See what's in here. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was in trade with these guys. It's good to see you. Trade with them. They got materials, medicine, and ammo. I'm gonna take both of those. But no crackers, damn. No firecrackers. What up? Let's see what we have here. Cool. Sounds good. So yeah, how am I gonna clear out the infestations? I have no idea how I'm gonna do it. I guess I need to try to try getting more material so material red sack so I can upgrade the facility mod. Or the so I can build the workshop. <laughs> Because if you have a as workshop, as you can build stuff. Nearby, we can't really secure this place. You can also make firecrackers in the workshop. So hopefully this place has materials red sack. Which it does. Good. I can loot the rest of this place. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bing, boom. That's not going to fit. How about I fit this dick in your mouth? <laughs> Oh god, uh, what am I seeing? I mean, that would if I was horny. I'm 
And that's all I can get. I'm just head back to base. I really gotta drive slowly because then those fucking bloaters explode in my car. That's and it sucks when they do that. And you ran over a bloater, it sucks. It could potentially even kill you. You have to jump out of your car quickly. Alright, so can we build? Yes, we can. About some problem with one of our communities in Trumbull. Is everything okay? Uh, thanks, Lily. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm taking care of it. All right, We're just moving through some mossy lines. The sorry, we need to take it out before it spreads. Anybody else think you weren't going to do that? Oh yeah, there's another, another thing that they're gonna add to this game in the later, in the future update that, and they're gonna work on the infestations, which means they're gonna be more smarter and better. I guess I can try to take out the infestation with the car. I don't know how successful that's going to be. This might be a bad idea, but we'll see. This is probably a stupid idea. I don't know if it's going to work. Frustrated. Me. <laughs> now what makes you say that? I guess it did work. I have to finish off that one. Mom, please be the last one. There you go. I guess you might as well loot this place. This food rut sacks would we need. Who's frustrated? Megan. Why are you so frustrated? <sighs> frustrated, desperate survivor. Gotta change that. I don't think I'll take that. Hopefully, bringing in more food will increase the morale for her. Oh, not bad, I suppose. Is there anything else? This community doesn't make me feel safe and want to. Why am I here? Wait, does she actually have that trait now, or is that permanent? Oh wait, she's the one that that gets frustrated at 20 morale. Yeah, I forgot about that. 
So yeah, she might become a problem. Which is why I'm thinking about replacing her with the other girl from that enclave. Just gotta, just hopefully that character doesn't have any negative traits either. I don't think we're going to find anything else here. Man as well. What you want. I'm in downtown, Marshal, and I can make it worth your while. Nope, nothing. I think that's one of the quests you get in this place. I'm not sure. Like a, it's a quest you get in this map. Cause there's like certain specific quests for this certain map that you, you only get in this map. I should be careful of playing I will, I will, around here. Hi everyone. I will do those later on. Alright, cool. Now we can make firecrackers. So, Undead Labs is working on State of the K3. Which I'm actually excited for a lot. Very excited for it. We're not gonna see it until way later. Like, still under under development. Like, sampling? Get more play samples. I need to take out this infestation. Ooh. Firecrackers. Now we can't take care of it. So the food rut sack unfortunately didn't bring up the morale. I think maybe clearing this infestation will. Should I bring gas with me? Nah, I think we'll be fine. Too close to it because, of course, the car will draw the zombies out and that'll make things complicated.
Three screamers and ten zombies. Well, damn. If you want to get rid of the plague zombies in your town, there's only one way to do it. Hunt down every last plague heart and bust them up. After that, find a new town. So, the best way to take care of these, um, stations with the with some firecrackers and the molotov molotov is your best friend when it comes to taking care of the station Fire in the hole! look at that Why does it keep spawning zombies, though? Please don't spawn in more, more zombies. As long as that plague heart is nearby, there you go. we can't really secure this place. So yeah, the easy way to take care of infestations with the molotovs and That's firecrackers. Stuff. Now this character is pretty tired. And when the character gets tired, you really don't want to be out here when they are. So next month, I've heard that um, Xbox is going to talk more about State of Decay 3, so hopefully they do, because I want to learn more about State of Decay 3. I doubt we're ever going to get like a release date anytime soon, because it's still under development. The early stages of development. Just what I needed. Whoa, what? Three red sacks of materials, damn. Is it because of this? I think it might be because of this. Because of this quest. This is probably this is probably the spot that she was talking about that has good stuff in it. When when that um quest pops up the pillage and plunder, you're most likely gonna get like three red sacks of material since in the place. I should threaten to leave more often. There you go. I guess I'll use one of these. That's a lot of stuff. Should I use the toolkit? Mm, I don't know if I should. I'm probably not. I need to hurry up and get back. I don't want to be out here any longer when my character's tired. Because things could go real bad.
put this in here and then get out of here and get back to base. So yeah, about Megan, if we're not able Frank, to... I just heard that one of the groups we were supporting in Trumbull left the valley. It sounds like they're pretty angry with us. Ray, are you there? Pick up. I need to talk. Raymundo Santos, you'd better not be ducking my call. Did anyone else just have a flashback to getting chewed out by your teacher? Bye now. So yeah, anyway, so if we don't find out a way to increase our morale, we're gonna have to get rid of Megan. She's gonna be a problem for us. Anyway, so now it's Cece's turn. Good luck. I'm gonna Stay. switch to her. Wait, what? Switching to Cece's will abandon Lex mission. That happy at home. Damn, I, th I thought it was Megan's not quest, not Alexis. After you. Wait, so what happens if I put these materials in? Oh, wait, I already did. Damn, what should I do? Can I do anything about this? No, I can't. I have to switch characters, unfortunately. Bye now. Good luck. Be safe. I almost forgot about that. That's a bummer. I wish I knew it was Alexis' quest. Things are so bad. I can't sleep at night for worrying lately. No, I'm, I'm not gonna do that quest. Instead, I'm focused on other things. I guess we upgrade. Should I upgrade this? Yeah, I guess so. <coughs> Alright, so what's next? Stay put. Let's so try to help over there these now. guys. anymore yes I do Any more bolts some gas and this car Plague zombies cluster in these areas. So I think once we help these guys out, they'll most likely place. become allies, I think. Hmm. We'll have our very first allies, which should be very helpful. Okay, great. Learn about the 
use no skill geek trivia no skills all righty let's see uh, doesn't seem to be any well it's more over there I, did I take care of that bloater from here? No. Go. Careful, we got a plague screamer. I could bring these guys over. See these guys over here. I mean, hey, they want plague samples. So I'll give them plague samples. I need to catch my breath. This actually might be done, but we'll see how it goes. They got good guns. I think they'll they'll be fine. Better be careful. And they got really good guns. There you go. Easy as that. Oh shit, it's three plagues now? Are you kidding me? Ah, you guys are greedy. Alright, fine. There you go. So whenever a zombie or a pharaoh gets in your car, there's no need to freak out. All you have to do is drive closely to a structure. Drive into it as closely as possible and it'll just kill them. Providing landing the hand. Extra right. labor, which I guess is good. I guess we'll keep them for now. Alright, so now I'm gonna head back home now. Got a zombie threat to take care of. This is gonna be our first zombie siege. And it's not really gonna be like a big one. So I might wanna the door. I'm gonna take this feral over here. Take it to these guys. So the feral won't follow me all the way to the to our home. Gift from me to you. Enjoy. 
enjoy. Yeah, that's one way to take care of barrels when they're in the way of things. Zombie seed. Anyone with eyes can tell we're short on materials. Molotovs. Got some firecrackers. So yeah, it's not really gonna be a big one because the noise level is pretty low, so it's not gonna be a, a bad one. Gotta deserve these bolts. I don't want to waste them too quickly. I really have to scream. Oh yeah, she has a scar. All right, there you have it. Easy zombie attack. And the good thing about these zombie attacks is they give us a lot of influence. Like 200, that's pretty good. Alright, so I think that's going to be it for today. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.